Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fang company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do valid anagrams lead code problem. And uh, if we see some of the companies where I want to work at who has already asked this question, there are companies like Amazon, Facebook, Spotify, Bloomberg, Microsoft, Goldman Sachs, Apple, Affirm, Google, Tesla, Snapchat, Yahoo, and Uber. So that's why I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code easy problem and also very well like problem. Basically we are given two strings S and T and we need to return true if they are anagrams of each other. If they are not anagram then we need to return false. Now first of all we have to understand that what is an anagram. An anagram is basically a word or phrase that is formed by rearranging the letters and uh, putting them in a different position. And uh, typically we use all the original letters exactly once. So if we try to understand it with an example suppose we are given a word like bat. So this is the original word if we just rearrange all of these b a and t in some other format and keep all of them in the same amount of occurrences they are already present so we can make some words that looks like t a b uh, b t a a t b e b a and so on and so forth so these are all words they are actually anagrams of this original word bat and how we can identify that we can identify based on if we see the number of occurrences of all the characters they are uh, in the same or uh, same number of occurrences even in the anagrammed letters as well so if we try to understand it further we using couple of examples over here we are given two examples so this is the example one uh, we are given two words that are uh, anagram and t is equal to something like this so if we want to check that whether these two are anagrams of each other or not what we can simply do is we can start cancelling out or uh, comparing the letters so a a is present n n is present again a a is present g is also present r is also present a is also present and m is also present which means all of the letters that are present in s they are also present in t in the same amount of occurrences which means we can return true in this case saying that there exists an anagram and s and t are anagram of each uh, each other now in this case s is equal to rat and t is equal to car if we try to repeat the same example okay r is present in both a is present in both but this t is not present in this uh, uh, string and this c is not present in this string which means th these are not anagrams of each other and we need to return false in this case so let's see that what would be the different approaches to solve this problem so the first approach to solve this problem is actually a brute force way and in the brute force what we are going to do is we take this string s uh, this string is comprised of three different characters so what we do is we make all the possible characters that we can make from this given string s so we can make characters like a c b uh, b c a b a c c a b so on and so forth so we would be able to make bunch of different possible uh, words out of this given string s and then we compare all of them with this given t and at any point if we encounter that there exists a, a word over here which is this bca is also present in this uh, all the different pairs we created if that is the case we will return true in this case if it is not not present we will return false so the solution would work perfectly fine we will get the desired re uh, result but the thing is our aim is not to get the desired result our aim is to get a desired result result at a convenient cost so which is not following for this particular scenario and if we see the time complexity for the brute force approach it's actually actually big of n square why n square because in order for us to create all of these different pairs it takes us n square time to do it and uh, that's why we will have to find a better approach better way to solve this problem is that we sort the given a string s and given string t and once we do that we will get a sorted string and then all we have to do is just compare these two sorted strings because uh, they should if they are anagrams of each other they should be exactly same if they are not anagram of each other they would be they would not be same so in this case if we sort the string s we will get a result that looks like a b c d and if we sort the string t we will also get the result that looks like a b c d and both the cases since both the strings are same we can conclude that this is an anagram of uh, each other and we can return true in this case if they are not same for any reason we will return false so this solution would work perfectly fine and we will also get the desired result if we see the time complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n log n why n log n because first of all we will have to convert this string to sorted string and sorting takes n log n time so that is the general uh, general time complexity now this is still a better approach than our brute force solution which had the time complexity of big o of n square and we are actually doing much better and we this is a vast improvement on this now we will have to check that is there any way to solve this problem in actually big o of n and yes there is a problem let me quickly show you how 
okay so for the optimal approach we are actually going to use an additional data structure array and we are going to initialize an array of size 26 for the 26 characters inside the english language and we are going to initialize all the values to have the value of zero as the beginning you will understand that i haven't drawn zero but you understand that default value is going to be zero now the idea is we will start iterating over the string s and the string t for any single character we identify in this string s we are actually going to increase that corresponding value inside this given array so suppose we encounter over here this s then whatever the initial value of this s is going to be zero we are going to initialize and increment the its value to one again if we encounter the value i again we are going to increment the value for this i as well now inside this uh, t we are actually going to do things in the reverse order and we are going to reduce the value so the moment we identify any single value we are actually going to reduce that value from this array and because we are using the same array if they are anagrams of each other remember they have the property that their number of characters and their occurrences should be same so if they both are same basically we uh, at the end of the, our iteration all the characters inside this given array should have the value zero if at any point we encounter any value where the value is actually greater than or less than zero we can determine that these two are not anagrams of each other so after the explanation let's try to run to run it with an example so first of all we identify that okay this character is actually s so initially the value of this character s is going to be zero so we are going to mark it as one and over here this character is actually l so the value of this l is going to we will have to reduce it so for the character l we are going to mark its value as minus one so now okay now uh, next character is i so again we will increase the value of i to 1 and over here this value is i again so now we will reduce the value of i as well so th the value of i will remain 0 now our next character is l so for l we are going to increase the value so over here if we increase the value the value becomes 0 and over here the next character is s for s we will have to reduce the value so if we reduce the value the value becomes 0 now next character is e and over here it's t so for e we will have the value increased to plus one for t we will have value decreased to minus one again the next character is n and e so for n we will have the value increased to plus one and for e we will reduce one value so this value will become zero now the last character is t and n so for the t we will have to increase the value so original value of t is actually minus one so we will increase it to zero and this value of n is actually we will have to decrease it so the value of n currently is one so we will reduce it to zero now if we see over here uh, all the elements where you can see that there are some entries they are the ones that are the number of characters that are present in this s and t and all of their value is zero and by default all the other characters inside this given array was also zero so it becomes uh, much easier for us to determine that whether they are anagrams or not of each other in this case we can return true that yeah they are anagrams of each other uh, this is the best approach and most optimal way to solve this problem if we see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n why big o of n because uh, we will have to iterate over all the characters in s and t one time and then we will have to iterate over this given an array one time to determine all if all the entries are zero or not and both takes n time so actually we are doing like 2n work but we can generalize it to be big o of n in terms of space complexity well uh, this you can argue with your customer uh, with your interviewer uh, because we are actually using an array of space 26 so it's like big o of 26 which is a constant value so you can also consider it to be constant as well now whenever you will propose this solution inside the interview your interviewer is definitely going to ask you that rather than this s and t having only english letters which are uh, 26 by a finite number what if we had a hash code or some other random characters that has millions of value if that is the case we will keep track of a hash map and for hash map every single entry if we encounter it inside the string s we will do the increment uh, operation if we encounter it in string t we will do the decrement operator and eventually we would find our answer so the logic is gonna remain same this is just the one thing that you will have to understand now let's move on to coding first of all we are going to check an edge case that if the length of string s and length of string t if they are not the same we can return false immediately if that is not the case we are going to initialize our array of size 26 and we are going to name it as count now we are going to run a for loop across string s and string t and we are going to increase our counter for any character that is present in string s and we are going to decrease our counter for any character that is present in string t and we are going to do both the activities inside the same uh, for loop.
for any character that is present inside the string s we are going to uh, increase its value inside the counter character that is present inside the string t we are going to reduce the value and after this loop ends our counter variable should have the correct values now we need to iterate over all the elements inside the counter variable and we need to check that whether any is there any value where the counter value of that particular element is not zero if we encounter any non zero item we can return false immediately and if we break out of this loop which means we did not find any entries that were non zero so we can return true in this case let's try to run this code Okay, seems like our code is working as expected. Let's submit it. And our code is pretty efficient and uh, I'll be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there. Thank you.